So my in-laws just called to let us know they're on their way over and we're out of food. Great. Luckily, Instacart helps me get groceries delivered in as fast as an hour. Plenty of time to cook an in-law worthy meal. Now, what to make? Chicken parm. Perfect. Download the Instacart app or visit instacart.com to get $20 off your first order using the code PREPARED20. Now the only thing to worry about is dinner conversation. Offer valid for a limited time. Minimum order $35. Delivery subject to availability. Additional terms apply. On today's wrestling news, Ronda Rousey is coming back to WWE. But screw that, Sasha Banks returned first. Hey, and Big E has also been traded over to SmackDown. And Vince McMahon's mother dies at 101. Are you ready? Are you ready for the news time? It's my name is Phil Chambers and I'm joined by Gareth Morgan to talk all things wrestling news. But before we get into it, make sure you like the video, comment down below what you think of all of today's stories and subscribe to the channel. It all really does help. But first up, big news coming from Dave Meltzer on the Wrestling Observer Radio. Ronda Rousey is returning to WWE very soon. Now, it might possibly be at the Rumble tonight. It might just be on Raw. We never know. Um, it's possible that she'll be in the Rumble match, but it's also possible that it might, she might just do something after the Rumble match or something backstage. Like, it's not known exactly what the return spot is going to be yet. Um, but he does say that when she does come back, she's going to be a regular on SmackDown mostly, but we'll also probably do some Raw shows. And he also thinks she will be on Raw on Monday. Um, but not only is Ronda Rousey coming back, there's also news on who she is going to be facing at WrestleMania. And it's not going to be Charlotte because they're going to go with Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch, the match we all wanted so long ago. Uh, and it's going to be absolutely incredible. She's expected to come back for a one-year deal only, but it's not going to be like a part-time thing. She's going to be sort of all in. It's not just going to be Rumble Mania done. She's going to be there for the full year, whether it's like full-time every single week or like select matches or something. We're not entirely sure yet, but she's here for a year. WrestleMania to WrestleMania probably. It's very exciting, this. It really is. And um, it does make you think potentially she's probably going to go into a similar role as what she did the first time around when she did work a lot of dates. She didn't work every single week, but when she did, she felt like a special attraction. Probably like Brock Lesnar just dialed up a few notches, that kind of vibe, but she did a few house shows as well. Just got a real essence for what it is to be a part of the WWE circus. And then this also makes me think, it, it throws a couple of questions into the works now because if she is supposedly going to be taking on Becky at Mania and she's going to maybe be more exclusively on SmackDown as a star, does this mean... Becky loses tonight? Is that is that something that could happen? Does she lose the dewdrop? Maybe go into the rumble? Maybe win the whole thing? I don't know. Is this 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 just adds so many new elements into tonight? Gets me really intrigued. Like you say, Ronda might not show up tonight, she might show up on Raw. There's so many variables in the mix doing things like this, Phil, and it just gets me excited. Yeah. This is what rumble season's about. I'm giddy. Hell yeah, I love it. Happy Royal Rumble Day, everyone, as well. Damn way. right. Um, but yeah, so like it's going to be interesting to see whether she comes back as heel or face. It's going to be interesting to see the crowd reaction, considering mm -hmm. what it was when she left originally and kind of why she left originally. Um, there's loads of questions around mm -hmm. this, but I think she's going to be a massive shot in the arm to the women's division because I think they've kind of needed something to shake it up a little bit for quite some time. That Becky versus Ronda match is the match we all wanted mm -hmm. back from Survivor Series mm -hmm. with Becky bleeding and shouting her down. Like, it's finally sort of coming full circle and we're actually going to get it. It's very, very exciting stuff. And I'm so giddy for the chance of avocado. It's happening tonight. Okay, so big return that happened on SmackDown last night was Sasha Banks out of nowhere. Like she was apparently so injured. It's like she was, she had like a knee injury. She was she was out for a couple of weeks. Couple of feels like a couple of months at this point. But she a lot of people were saying oh she might not make it back for the Rumble. It might be after that. Same with Bailey. We don't know what's going to happen. But she just popped up on SmackDown. They did the typical Royal Rumble. Oh let's get everyone in the ring and throw everyone over the top rope and go Ooh, who's going to win the Rumble? They did that thing. But Charlotte was running down everyone else that was in the ring at this point and saying nobody can beat me. I'm the queen. Woo 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 woo. And then Sasha Banks came out. Did all of the boss stuff. Everyone went crazy. Crazy, and they were chanting Sasha, Sasha. They were going mad. She was such a babyface in this moment. So there is no arguments around whether she's heel or babyface. She is pure babyface in this moment. And it's interesting because she dumped Charlotte out of the ring. So it seemed to imply that Banks and Flair could be perhaps having their own program, maybe coming into Mania, maybe just before that. It could be for the Saudi show. We don't know that 100% at this point. But she's now definitely an odds on favourite to win the whole Royal Rumble because it's Sasha Bloody Banks. But it does make you think, I understand why 
why they did this because it's smackdown you want to like i don't know get a few more eyes on smackdown this anything can happen kind of mentality but you literally you had the rumble tomorrow you yeah. could have just had to be a big surprise maybe this means we get an even bigger surprises bigger than sasha banks i know we're gonna get bigger surprises tomorrow but it just the embarrassment of riches this company has right now it's it's on show for the world to see yeah absolutely it's ludicrous why you wouldn't just say this for by the world rumble but also, at the same time, maybe they have got something. Maybe they've got a Bailey. Maybe, just maybe, we could all dream. <laughs> if we get Bailey, Sasha, and Ronda back in the women's division, that'd be absolutely incredible mm. leading up to WrestleMania. Uh, but I'm, if they're going to do Sasha versus Charlotte at WrestleMania, I am down for that. That match would be a hell of a match. Sasha versus Charlotte on one side, one uh, day, and Ronda versus Becky on the other day is two bloody mm. brilliant matches. Mm. But I'm very happy to see Sasha Banks back. She is one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah at the minute she's I the boss love her. she's awesome uh, so yeah just get bailey back and that women's division is back on track <laughs> look at baby. that division look at it now you got bianca belair in there and shana blazer and everyone else it's exactly. just oh what a division good stuff uh but speaking of smackdown as well Big E has officially i guess been traded over to smackdown uh killer braxton kind of mentioned it in a backstage segment just saying that he's officially part of the blue brand and then wwe's twitter account put up a tweet saying it as well um so the new day are back together again on the same show absolutely no idea uh, why? <laughs> uh, no idea if why is going to get someone in return, if it's like a little trade deal thing that they're going to work out. Also no idea if it's just temporary or if it's going to run up to Mania or, or what's going to happen with that. But uh, on the show, Biggie then teamed up with Kofi to take on Happy Corbin and Madcap Master. Obviously they won that. Uh, so yeah, the New Day back together again on the same brand. And that, in isolation, is a marvellous thing. I love the New Day. I love when they're all together and shaking all the hips and throwing out all the booty It's all good stuff. But the pessimist in me, the cyn cynical side of me as a wrestling fan, is very worried that this could mean that that spotlight is now slowly shifting away from Big E as a single star. I know yeah. nothing's been 100% confirmed on that front. Like, you still had a lot of time to shine here, but you do get that worry that WWE may be gone. Right, you've had your, your WWE title run now. Let's throw you back into the New Day. We're here to sell all the merch, which... It's fine. It's a good spot to be in. But Biggie, he proved that he could do this. He's proved that he's a main event guy. So I just don't want to see him just fall down the path like we saw with Kofi. Again, such a similar bit like situation where he did just fall back into this tag team world, which is, again, he did great with it. Him and Woods have smashed it. But I think all three of them now have proven that they can just go off and do their own thing. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it means we get a big tag team match at Mania. We could get a cool thing where like you've got all these mega New Day stars in there fighting someone. But you, you do have that little sinking feeling of, Oh, God, I really want Big E in a big singles match yeah. at Mania. Do you know what I mean? He deserves it. Maybe it's just a stopgap thing for like the Saudi mm. show and they're going to do New Day versus the Bloodline or something on the Saudi show. Could be fun. I mean, I'd be down with that. Yeah. If that's just a thing. And then we can get Big E back on track after that. Um, but yeah, like, like yeah. you say, I, it's great to have the New Day back together and they're always going to be solid and entertaining. But just want that little bit more for Big E. Like, why can't they just make him a full-time main event player? Big E versus oh. Goldberg, book at WrestleMania. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, it was that. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, it was just, it was just that. It was, uh, okay. So, shifting gears somewhat. Um, not sure how to segue into this. Like, there's no real, like, cool and quick way of doing it. We're just going to talk about it. Because uh, Vince McMahon's mother has, unfortunately, passed away at, at the incredible age of 101 okay it's been confirmed today um the obituary like she, there's a full obituary out there online on reddit if you want to go and check that out um but yeah it's just it goes into detail about the fact she was still playing tennis at 94 because just mcmahon's i don't know what mcmahon's are made of they're just freakish yeah, human enough. beings they're one of a kind and yeah it's just really sad it's one of those things where like a lot of people always talk about like vince saying that he's 76 now and how long can he keep on going keep on running this massive company and a lot of people always point to his mum saying she's still in her hundreds at this point and she's just still going strong just kicking all the ass but now unfortunately she has passed away and it's it's just a sad time really I don't, there's not much more to add to this it's obviously going to be a, a funeral service memorial mass and all the rest of it and it's just a moment just to yeah pay your respects not not much more to add to this phil yeah absolutely like you say just thoughts go out to the entire mcmahon family just not nice news no. but there it is there you go um, but we will move over to your Twitter questions. Uh, the first one of the day comes from His Lordship Dan Zimmerman, who says, Good morning, gents. Happy Royal Rumble Day. Uh, if you were capable of selecting five wrestlers to make surprise appearances in today's women's Royal Rumble match, who would you choose? And would any of them be Cleary and Drag? I'm oh. going to say no to that last part. No, that's <laughs> taken one of mine. Damn it. Um, Definitely no. 
Oh, what? Uh, is this, is this Wednesday Adams? Is that one? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a cracking look. Uh, should we just take it in turns? You go first? Yeah, um, so it's five, five yeah. altogether. So we'll do one each, yeah? Um, so to be the final five, was it? Sorry, our surprise entrance. So it's just surprise entrance. Surprise entrance. Um, I'd go, I'm going to go obvious. Sorry, straight away, Trish Stratus. I think that was a big one. Fair. No. Uh, Molly Holly. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's obvious for you. Um, Raquel Gonzalez, NXT. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Bailey, I'm forever going to keep oh, my fingers crossed. Bailey, come on. And I, don't think, I was going to go Ronda, but she's not really surprised at this point, is she, if I that know, happens. Yeah. Um, I'll go another NXT one. I'll go Io Shirai, because come on, come on. That would be good. Be great. I'd be down with that. Uh, the next question comes from, uh, just wear your damn mask. Good, good, good words. <laughs> Uh, uh, who says, Morning, <laughs> uh, do you guys think Pat McAfee made a mistake saying that Mickey is the Impact Champ since no one else has mentioned it on air since? It seems like WWE locked up that door pretty quick. Uh, there's a chance. There's always a chance of this kind of thing, but I, don't, I feel like Pat McAfee is the kind of guy who will just do what he wants in this, and that's kind of one of his endearing qualities as a as a commentator. He, he kind of he, he treads that company line, and every now and again, just goes, "Nah, I'll just do what everyone wants to hear." Do you know what I mean? What the fans really want yeah. to hear. So maybe I don't think he would have got that many like repercussions on the back of saying that because it's pretty much an unspoken thing, isn't it? A lot of people know this anyway. So I don't think the WBC Impact is the same kind of competition as like AEW or anything like that. So I don't know. It, it could be something. It could be nothing. Yeah, it is interesting that they kind of made the fuss about it and the first time they announced it and haven't really mentioned it since. I think the um, big sort of reveal of all of this is going to be whether she actually comes out with the belt mm. on, uh, tonight on the Royal Rumble. If she does, then it probably wasn't a mistake. If yeah. she doesn't, maybe it was. We'll see. We'll see. A lot. To, <laughs> so much is going to happen tonight. My head's, my head's falling off. This is just the women's Royal Rumble we're talking about as well. This know, is just right? madness. I really hope they do let her bring it down. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be cool. Nice that'd be cool. And the final question today comes from Cool Link Seven, who says, "Good morning, guys. It's finally Royal Rumble Day. I'd like to know who you guys think will be the final four of the Men's Rumble and eventual winner. His picks are Gunther, Big E, Riddle, and Priest. With the eventual winner being Big E. Mm, Gunther, that's still a thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so the the second most anticipated Rumble of the year. Um, let's think. Yep. I'd, I'd like Balor because I'm a I'm a Balor boy. I'd love Balor just yeah, to be in there. Vince doesn't like Balor he anymore. Doesn't. So I think you're out of luck there. I know, but I loved I loved this 2018 marathon man. I thought he was great. He's our he's Iron Man. Sorry that he did. And he, he was just yeah. I thought he was excellent. So I'm gonna go Balor. I'm going to wave that flag. Are you going to do one? Big E. I'm going to keep Big E in there. Keep Big E. That's a nice one. So, mm, I'm trying to think he could be a winner. Uh, I like KO. I'd love to see KO win it, so put KO in there. And, ooh, I don't know, maybe... See, I just want to kind of reset everything and not go for any of the normal WWE no. guys and go for, like, an AJ Styles. Ooh, that'd be nice. Like... like That'd be a really nice final four. Oh, you're not going to happen. You're not going Randy Orton to tie with Stone Cold Steve Austin for most Rumble wins. I mean, no, yeah, no, that's no. true. Don't put it past them. Yeah. I mean, it probably will be Orton, won't it? <laughs> Maybe if Orton and Riddle are in the final four and then one of them throws the other one out and we get something going on from that. I like that. I don't know. I like that. If Randy Orton doesn't win, I think I'll be happy. <laughs> you said it now, Phil. You heard it here first. <laughs> Uh, I'm allergic to even the thought of Randy Orton winning. But that was I thought you were going to sneeze today. another Thank match you. into existence then, Phil. I thought you were going to do my <laughs> trick. I was like, oh, God, what's happening? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below what you think of all today's stories, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> There's more things are coming up. <laughs> uh, so watch those videos, ups and downs for Rampage, ups and downs for SmackDown are coming, and then me and Willborn are doing a live stream tonight for the Royal Rumble, so make sure you come and watch some wrestling with us, because it's the Royal Rumble, and everybody loves it the is. Royal Rumble, it's the best show of the year, I absolutely love it. And um, we've got a Broken oh, Skull well, Sessions with me in it as well, Phil, I'm plugging some stuff, we've got a Broken Skull Sessions with Becky Lynch, we're going to tell you all the things that you may have missed in that as well, because I'm going to be doing that today, there it is. so that's, that's a thing gotta as watch well. too, uh, but <laughs> most importantly, have yourselves a bloody good day. Mwah.